team Spence and, and Al Heyman, they're, they're just negotiating against themselves. Like they're trying too hard to get to get everything. I understand, you know, I love Spence. I consider him a brother. But in these situations, man, you can't go so far when you blow up the deal. Terrence Crawford ain't some bum who brings nothing to the table. I don't care about the trinkets and the belt. I get undisputed. I get all that. But you can get a belt walking down the street if you got enough money these days. Andre Ward. What up, yeah? Hold on, fam. Hold on. I take my fucking card off. Cause today is season three, episode six. And today, I gotta roast a fucking duck savior, Captain Saver Duck. Andre Ward stepped his nose in some duck shit the other day, right? And I spoke on it, but now. I want to talk about it again. Fuck all that. Yeah. So, Captain Say with Doug Andre Ward, right? Take a sip of my caramel frappe. Captain Say with Doug Andre Ward came out. Let's read it, man. Because the shit he said, man, annoyed the fuck out of me. Yeah, annoyed the fuck out of me, man. Because these boxing people, man, a lot of people in boxing be full of shit. And sometimes people come to the videos and be like, you think we are listening to somebody else over a boxer? Well, sometimes you might have to. Because these niggas be full of shit. And they got a lot of, a lot of bias going on. So Andre Ward, let's go over this shit again. Came out, brother, Sean Porter. I don't agree with your comments about the Crawford Spence negotiations and how Crawford should conduct himself. I can't respect that. It sounds like you are telling him to shut up and fight. So, so, my whole problem with that whole thing Andre Ward said was first of all, Sean Porter didn't say anything disrespectful to Andre Ward. He didn't. In actuality, he's turned across a friend, and he's doing what friends supposed to do. Friends are supposed to tell their friends when they are wrong or when they need to do the shit. You know, I would like to, as a friend of mine, I would like a friend to tell me when I'm doing some sh fuck shit or, or, or anything. You know, and I'm going to do the same. Now, right, the last... You like ass kisses, that is. And niggas. And yes, man, niggas. So then, right, Andre Ward make another tweet. Andre Ward is giving me what the girls say, man. It's giving, I want to start a podcast. It's almost like Andre Ward wants to start him SOG podcast or some shit like that. And this is just a cooking up, and he wanted to stir some bullshit just so he could come in with his little podcast. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of these niggas be doing before they start their podcast. They want to get into some controversy or whatever, you know, just to create a lot of splash coming into the game or whatever. But, you know, if that's what you want to do, and that's one of your goals, Andre Wood, then knock yourself out, man. But, Being Captain Saber Duck is not the way to go, right? So now I got to roast you too because you stuck your nose in some shit where it didn't belong. You know what I'm saying? These niggas like, like to act like, oh, man, I, I'm for both guys. Shut the fuck up with that fake-ass love because I don't want it, nigga. <laughs> if I'm Earl Spence, nigga, I don't want that shit, nigga. Fuck out of here with that fake-ass shit. So then Andre Ward come out. After Sean Porter came back, Sean is too fucking nice for me. He said, yes, sir. I, I clear what I'm trying to say. I believe meaning I could be dead wrong. Right? Him saying, I believe. Most fighters aren't respected once they get to the table, so he needs to come with his A game. Translation. Get your fucking shit together, nigga. Get your shit together. Get your shit in order. 
make sure your business together. You got the right people, the best people, and what they do, and then come to the table correct. Right? That's all Sean Porter said. But to me, I don't understand how the fuck out of what Sean Porter said did Andre Ward get shut up and fight. How the fuck do they sound like shut up and fight, nigga? They don't sound shit like shut up and fight. So the way you just took that and made it into that just lets me know the fuck shit that you on right now, Andre Ward. You on some bullshit. That's why we don't listen to you niggas, man. Because the shit that you, you say, you already contradicting yourself. You don't make no fucking sense. Andre, all Sean Porter said was, man, just, you know, come with your A-game, fam. He didn't say shit about shut up and fight. He could have made it sound a lot worse than that, but he didn't. Sean Porter too nice for me, because if it was me, I would have said, nigga, what the fuck is you doing? Don't do that. Do this. That's some dumb shit. I would have been talking crazy to him. You hear me? So it would have been... You know, I'm just saying. Sean Porter, one nice ass nigga, man. But my problem with Andre Ward, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a clip in the beginning of the video, right? This is a clip of Andre Ward. Uh, I think he was on the show with Matt Kellerman, right? And this is when people try to blame Al Heyman and, and, Al, and, and Earl Spence for not making a fight and shit like that or whatever. This was a couple months ago, right? People tried to blame Earl. Earl, you know, people was on Earl top talking all type of shit. You heard? And then all of a sudden, right? You know, Max Kellerman, Andre Wood, all these motherfuckers came out. They had a lot to say about Earl Spencer, Andre. I mean, Al Heyman. You know, Andre, what Andre Ward said was, "Hey, man." Al Heyman and Earl Spencer and Earl Spence team are, 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 you know what I'm saying, pushing themselves out the deal. You know what I'm saying? Out pricing themselves and trying to get all the money. So you had no problem speaking on that, right? But now when Terrence Crawford actually ducked, now you got so much protection shit going on. And that's my problem with Andre Ward because the fucking audacity of a nigga that just came out talking about Earl and Al Heyman. But my thing is with Andre Ward, because Andre Ward then comes and write this statement on Twitter, right? He said, uh, there are a lot of opinions, commentary about the Spence Crawford negotiation. The reality is the majority don't really know. It's okay to admit that there are a handful of people who know the day to day. The rest are just fighting their hot hearts out in the comments. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, he want to talk about people. He basically want to do what Terrence Crawford did. You YouTubers. He basically on the same shit. Well, let your nuts hang, nigga, and say that shit, nigga. Oh, you fighting your heart out in it, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Let me find out you mad because you didn't have fans fighting in the comments. Shut your goofy ass up, nigga. We ain't trying to hear shit you talking about fuck wrong with Andre Ward. Now I'm on your fucking top, nigga. Is you managing Terrence Crawford or what? Because it sounds like you know a lot of this shit. Like Terrence Crawford been pillow talking to you. Is you his motherfucking manager for negotiations? And that's why you speaking up on a nigga or, or what is it, fam? I'm just saying. Because you talking about everybody else don't know some shit. Most don't. Nigga, you don't know shit. So what the fuck is you talking about? Cause last time I checked, Andre War ain't have a goddamn fight nowhere near close as this. You ain't say shit when Floyd Mayweather told you your motherfucking coach wouldn't shit cause he ain't boxed before. You ain't say shit then. Your ass shut the fuck up cause you was against a higher power and you knew he was gonna fry your ass. So now you trying to come out to protect this motherfucking duck and all they say shit about the fans cause you ain't had no fans fighting in the comment section, nigga. Jealous ass nigga. You mad cause you ain't getting no fucking checks and shit like Earl did is with Al Heyman. You ain't had no Al Heyman. Fuck is you talking about? See now you gotta 
You gotta go in though, cause you 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 stuck your nose in some duck shit. You trying to speak up? You don't know what the fuck you talking about? Now you trying to tell other niggas they don't know what they talking about? Duck savior, you fucking duck hero. Fuck is you talking about? Same nigga came out. I'm gonna play that shit, man. The beginning of the video. Aaron Smith, Al Heyman, or or trying to get everything. It's a time and a point where Terrence Crawford is no bum. Nigga, ain't nobody say he no fucking bum, nigga. And you ain't even know what you fucking talking about because Earl didn't get everything. He had zero just like he had zero. Everything was bet on they self. So you was, wrong. you was wrong. So now what, nigga? So that's what the shit I be talking about. Coming out here like your ass got some more motherfucking knowledge about the shit than everybody else or some shit. And your ass wrong the whole time. That's why my name missing no sources, by the way. And I always come out and say that shit as a disclaimer in my video. To let niggas know. I ain't gonna tell you the meaning. It's up to niggas to figure out the meaning. <laughs> it's up to them. Uh, if you don't know it, I don't know it, nigga. Now what? But... Yeah, man, that shit was annoying as fuck. I heard that world coming out saying this shit after you then came out and you try to put pressure or, or or try to say a nigga was ducking or pricing they self out trying to get all the money, but now this nigga finally ducked and now we calling the nigga duck. Uh, your fans just arguing it, your hearts out in the comments. Nigga, is you mad? You didn't have no, any nigga that had fans arguing in the comment sessions all the time won't dare say some shit like this. You know why? Because they know they had it before. You ain't never had a amount of fans rooting for your ass, nigga. And so now you, you on some jealous shit just like Crawford. No different. Fuck is you talking about? You wrong, nigga. Again. Your boy Duck. He can still be your fucking... Your boy. If you just want to get in the shit and talk shit, that's what, that's what it be with the uh, with some of these bosses. I know this. Bosses, ex-bosses, writers, or whatever the fuck. All these niggas that surround the shit. A lot of these niggas secretly watch YouTube shit just like all the rest of us but these niggas under fake accounts acting like other motherfuckers watching the shit just like this commenting saying dumb shit and then you know cause you cause you secretly want a motherfucking make you a channel and do the same shit but your ass on that fucking high horse and you can't get up off of it you bougie ass nigga Make a channel then. Fuck, if that's what you really want, because that's what it is, I'm telling you. We really want to make him a fucking channel, nigga. But guess what? A lot of these niggas try to make a channel who, who box and shit like that. Good luck, nigga. Because it's more than just... Oh, I know everything about boxing because I boxed before. That shit don't mean a goddamn thing, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Sip my goddamn frappe. Now, anytime you see a nigga out here roasting duck, don't get your goofy ass in the way trying to save a duck, nigga. He already on the grill. Get your ass out the way. We eating duck. Fuck is you coming over here, nigga, interfering with things and shit. Trying to... Uh, uh, what are you guys talking about? Nobody's know what they talking about. I don't respect your comment, Sean Porter. <laughs> the fuck? Nigga, ain't nobody give a fuck what Andre Ward respect. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? You was a has-been. You had a good career, did your thing, but you ain't never had no motherfucking fans going hard on the internet like motherfuckers got now. Why? Why? Cause nobody gave a fuck about Andre Ward like that, but a few guys. Now what? <laughs> nah, he was a cool. He was a good fighter, man. He did his thing, but stop sticking your nose in duck shit, man. Don't about your fucking business, nigga. 
That's why these little niggas be at these motherfucking fights running behind that yet with the camera and shit. <laughs> Get your bitch ass out of here, nigga. Nobody give a fuck about that shit. Y'all like that like button. Subscribe to the channel and subscribe already. And for the next motherfucker they want to get in the way of some duck shit, get your ass fried too. <laughs> and I'm out, man. Deuces, y'all.